Hi there, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can call any variable and any function to a script for another. So let's get into it. So first thing first, we need to create a C sharp script. So let's call the script game manager. And basically the purpose to this tutorial is to 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 have access to all my variable I will be um, instantiate here. For example, let's say um, I create this script game manager and I start to put int, for example, int health. So and uh, a health maybe int uh, maybe score and maybe in time play, uh, float time play, for example, time play. Okay, so let's make this variable public. Public, okay. And let's create another script create another script. Let's create uh, my script. And I want to be able to have access to this particular uh, variable. So how can I do that? So let's create um, a private, uh, sorry, private uh, static game manager game manager and let's call it uh, game manager instance game manager instance so after that let's create a public uh, a public static game manager instance let's call it instance and I will explain it later. Let's just code this. So I will try to get get uh, if game manager dot instance equal equal null. I say game manager dot instance equal to find game object of type of type of game manager, oh sorry, game manager as a game manager, okay, uh, sorry, I think I forget this, nope, maybe this type of, oh sorry, here, it work better and uh, uh, and I will return game manager dot instance so basically what I'm gonna do with the static function you can call um, when you create a static uh, static um, variable it's mean you can call this this any way you want in the script even if it's not instantiate so what i'm what i'm doing here i say okay so if this variable is null so if it's not um if it's not instantiate yet i will find in my um in my uh, hierarchy uh, a game object who got the type game manager and i will attribute attributate this variable to this class if it's not uh, if it's not instantiate yet if it's already instantiate i will just return this so with that oops uh, with that what can i do i can just call um, i can have access to all my my variable here just calling this so game manager dot instance so i say okay let's uh, let's call this variable instance 
and I can access, as you can see, my my variable. And this, oh, sorry, I need to put like zero or something like that. And this is very uh, this is very nice because you can call anything you want. You can call like. Uh, a variable you can call even a function so let's let's create like a, I don't need to start an update let's delete this let's create a public void uh, my function and uh, let's say debug um, debug sorry debug dot log uh, we call this function So basically, if I go to my script or e even from another script, I just need to say, okay, I want to call this function, uh, my function, to another script. So what I do, what I need to do is just game manager dot instance and uh, call my function. So there is, this is very nice because uh, it's very interesting when you got a game manager and you got all the parameter of your game and you want to maybe if your player get hit or maybe your player is dying or maybe you you want to increment the score you just you just need to call this function and basically it's very nice so yeah, and it it's a very easy way to to just you know to just centralize everything so let's try it and let's see what's happening so for for the for the purpose you need to 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 have a game object who got the game manager because uh, as i said in the code um this will look for the game manager in the in the hierarchy so if it find nothing he won't do anything. He will say, "Okay, I didn't find anything, so I will this this will this will be empty." For the purpose to to be able to work, you need to have the game manager in in your hierarchy. So let's let's call like my other script. Let's attach it to my main camera. So my script, and as you can see, I call um, I call in the start function my game manager my function. And what I can do, I, I can even do this if you want. Um, let's try uh, debug dot log game manager dot instance dot uh, health, and I will just debug this. And what I what I will do is just okay. Let's say my game manager dot instance health will be equal to ten, and um, I can do. Uh, the other thing with the time play or even the score. Let's let's say let's instance in the score. Let's say game manager uh, dot instance dot score will be equal maybe at uh, to two thirty five for example, and you will see with uh, with that you can call this any way you want, and you will see in the console. Um, so let's see what's happening. So if I hit play here, you can see we call this function, and uh, you got the 10 and you got the 235. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys like it. If you like it, just thumb up and comment below the video. It will be very nice. And I see you guys later. Bye.